We get a look at Terry Larrier right there. He's coming off the ACL injury. He's a potential NBA player down the road. Well, he is, but he's missed the, most of the last two seasons. Two years ago, sitting out with transfer rules from VCU, then last year with the injury. So we saw the talent that Larrier possesses. He's going to be an important player in the high post, a guy that can make plays kind of as a point forward type position. A year ago, from way downtown, Terry Larrier runs it down off the window and so soft it in. But a top 100 recruit coming out of high school. Larrier not bashful and Terry Larrier knocks down another. Patel to the trailing. Terry Larrier knocks down another three. Eight early points now for Terry Larrier and Connecticut opens a six point lead. And great flow. He doesn't look rusty at all. And Playing with a lot of confidence, and it's so important, as you see, without Alex. This is Christian Patel, Larrier at the foul line. There's that 15-foot jump shot by Terry Larrier, and he remains red hot. He's got a dozen knock a transfer to Louisville. And Kevin told us this morning, I want guys who want to be here as the soft a game a year ago so he can score it for Colgate. Nice dunk inside for Larrier. That's a beautiful move by Terry Larrier. Very positive. Of, with these guys, letting them play through their mistakes. A little step back by Terry Larrier. He found Swapshire wide open. He's been really impressive. Five assists to go along with his 11 points, but there's to the face. Larrier trying to go to work on Swapshire. There's Terry Larrier. Gonna get up to Larrier. Terry Larrier, big smile on his face, and rightly so. Shot clock at five, Larrier pulling up, and man, that is soft, and that is down for his first bucket of the game. They've got a run out, Gilbert giving it up for Terry Larrier, the one-hand stuff. And then creating a five on four in the half court. Terry Larrier thinking about the three, and then wisely pulls up from downtown. A screen. Gilbert spotting Larrier, no hesitation, and right in rhythm. Terry Larrier skies to get the rebound. He might have had Vital ahead of the field, but didn't see him. Larrier, little runner in the lane. Of the so before the break, that ball was called off Connecticut. The officials got together and changed it. You make a few shots and you get a little bit more of a pop in your step on the defensive end. Terry Larrier in rhythm off the feed from Al Tariq Gilbert. Play host to Villanova, so that certainly does help the tournament resume if you have success as Terry Larrier gets it to fall in. Terry Larrier a little bit out of control, but finds himself right in front of the bucket and then stays with it. Terry Larrier controls for UConn, the VCU transfer, and a terrific NBA prospect. He has the Huskies' first two to fill the void of those players that are leaving that have a similar skill set. Larrier along two for Connecticut right in front. 16 for 19 now in a year for Bailey. Ducks are nearly 80% from the line. Good move there. Larrier spins it home to beat. UConn's only assist, Sean, came with 14 minutes and one second to go in the first half. More than 26 minutes now without one as Larrier scores off a of feed from Adams. Kick. Gilbert floats it up. Honora taps it out. Larrier in the corner. And we're tied. Who survived DePaul in the previous game here in overtime, 89-79. Larrier has had nothing going offensively until now. The game was tied with DePaul at 31. This one a one-point lead. Gilbert out to Larrier. Wide open, and he buries the three. These Michigan State bigs really can pass. Larrier again. Two in a row for Terry Larrier. For you all and for us to see. Terry Larrier, two to shoot. Oh, that was a tough one in traffic. Yeah, UConn versus Michigan State. The winner of this game is going to go play North Carolina. Larrier, a three. So if they're going to extend out beyond the NBA line. That's going to create seams and gaps that they can be attacked. Washington State, happy for Ernie Kent, proud of him. Here's Terry Larrier right here. Beautiful drive known to get the most outstanding player besides Bill Bradley and Jerry West. It's not often that that happens. Terry Larrier. Company your son works for, who can you trust? Terry Larrier from Beautiful. deep and UConn needed that. Best play of the game for the Huskies. Woof, woof. 
which has given me and everybody else around here ours. Thank you, Steve Snapper Jones. 75 years. And you have two extra defenders on your team. The floater. Too strong from Jalen Adams, but Larrier the offensive rebound. Nice. And put back from Terry Larrier. No way. Well, you're watching it. Jalen Adams leads the Huskies with 16. Where would you put Bill Bowerman on that coat on that list of all-time coaches? Jalen Adams being guarded by Quinton Adlish. Here goes Larrier fading away. Drops in. No sight of an ankle bothering him, Tim. Adams back for Larrier, and that rattles in. Diara so active. And finally, there's Larrier getting it to go, but there's that offense. Of Micah Seaborn, you can see how valuable he is. He's an offensive weapon. He's unanimous first team all conference. Terry Larrier, his first. Shot clock now coming up on five. The runner by Adams won't go down. Larrier picks it up strong to the goal and lays it in and picks up the foul. Doesn't matter how they did it or what or what the score was. Terry Larrier, that is pure from the left corner. That's a two, a long two for Terry Larrier. Get going. Larrier, good up fake. Terry Larrier. Here comes Jalen Adams for UConn. Spotting Larrier, puts it on the deck and finishes inside. Terry Larrier now with 13 points. Adams off to Larrier, and he knocks down a three. Huge minutes, especially with, as you mentioned, Al Tariq Gilbert is out with a shoulder injury yet again. Missed almost all of last year with it as Larrier gets it to go. And again, Amadou Diara out of Queens, as Holly told you about his story in the first half. Pull up by Larrier. Gets the roll. That's the best thing that's ever happened to Steve Walford. He doesn't believe it. Yeah. It's the best thing that happened to him. Adams to Larrier. Larrier ties the game. Christian Vital averaging nearly 13 points a game. It's Larrier. He replaces Onura. Larrier, tough shot somehow. He's always so enthusiastic and so into it. Well, the jacket's gone. <laughs> a true coach, though. That's usually a sign that he hasn't been thrilled. Larrier for three. For UConn. First points for Chad Andrews Fulton. Larrier, open three is good. <laughs> Penetration by Adams, the kick to the open Larrier. He has 14. Back today at shooter around uh, Raleigh did. Raleigh's been wearing it this week. No, I saw Eden with it today at shooter around Larrier. Gets the bounce, his first basket. Who have you seen this better than Kareem, who graduated? 48 years ago. Beautiful move. Larrier, he, he's really a skilled player, scored in double figures in it. Trying to make a big deal out of a double double for DeAndre Hayden. Oh my gosh, come on, the guy wakes up with a double double. On the season, Larrier is scoring double figures in every game but one. He's been maybe the most consistent player for UConn. The shot clock at five years, the turnaround. Yeah, Larrier on the money to make it a five point game. The Huskies are playing with the prize for a beautiful passing here by the Huskies. Larrier into the lane, floats it up and ties the game at 30. Well, they're not fouling, and that's another reason no. why they're calling. No. no. fouls in the first few Yeah, the, the foul. Larrier UConn. Gets UConn within one again. And Marvin Bagley will be a terrific player for many years. And to learn from a great coach. Sweet shot by Larrier, but by the NCAA. There's Larrier going all the way. UConn needed a basket. Larrier into the paint. Hits the turnaround. UConn has to go to Wichita in February as well. Utah. Led by Deshaun Murray with 13. Larrier for the Huskies. Quinton Williams keeps it alive right before the stripe at midcourt. And Larrier knocks it down. Coordinator at ESPN. He's Seen about 10 or 11. Good steal. Good luck up to Larrier. Yeah. Shamit recognized that immediately. Larrier, he's a tough matchup. He's 6'7 long and can shoot.
transition opportunities because of UConn's balance. Be careful with the ball again. Larry, your turnaround is good. You already had that one stripped just then, Rich, but I'm sure you'll see Connecticut close the middle of that floor next trip. Larry buries an 18-footer. Just going to your strength. And Frank Camp is a strength. Larry Getting the ball in. Larry Yep. Had the ball fake in the finish. Yeah, they're getting him his touches now. He's size advantage if he goes fast. Go right up over him. Larry Ear, 6 8. There you go. Bangs home. Smart. A 10 footer. The first time they had a chance to see this place was about an hour before game time. Larry Ear. My goodness. Adams misses from 18. Larry Ear collects it. Larry Ear scores it. He was out in the suburbs for that one. Little heat check right there. And a three, again trailing. Field goal shooting percentage. Boy, Larry just looks so good, smooth. <laughs> He's been that third Tulsa Golden Hurricane offensively behind Taplin and E2. And a three to answer for the Huskies. And Tulsa was going, Junior E2 has no points, but we're up six. Larry or ties it. Yeah. And Larry or some music of his own. Let that team start their offense out front. Boy, Larry was underneath with great position, and he gets the roll. Larry are waiting there, lurking underneath. Larry has gotten some good looks. I like the fact that he's putting the ball on the floor and going towards the basket this time, and he connects on his first field goal. Anderson looking for Larrier, finally has him in the corner. Larrier, one dribble, and hits. Larrier, jumper, good. Larrier, good jab step, and hits from distance. He has to give you a reason to call his name. And there's a reason for you kind of be feeling good. Good defense. <laughs> Even more important. <laughs> Larrier on the baseline. Averages 15 a game at 21. Larrier, great footwork. Adams to the ground, no call. Larrier scoops it up and scores. This runs away from Larrier, and Larrier is able to bury it. How many will they be down? Adams, corner it goes. Larrier for three. Yes! At the buzzer! De Jesus had it poked away, and he turns it over. Patel up ahead to Larrier. Larrier missed it, but the follow is good in his career. Larrier, long two. Is improving from week to week, and that's what Kevin Ollie's teams have done in the past, and especially with so many young players starting to find themselves. And so far, they're doing a great job of hedging and containing. No, oh, UConn's missed their last six shots, and then they get one there. They've gone nearly five minutes without a basket. And Cornish doesn't find a three that he doesn't like, kind of rushing it. Well. That is perfect from Larry here. Mike Dunleavy wants a timeout, and you can't blame him. Go forced to give it up. UConn on the move. Drive to the rim. Lays it in, Larry here. Well, that's what they want. Anything early, that's for them. Spellman, wild pass. Bodies flying. Larry here gets ahead. Larry here glides to the rim. Carlton didn't catch it cleanly. Larry here doesn't take the three. Left hand. Nice job. He's got to do that more by Terry Larrier, and now Adams feeds Carlton. Larrier in rhythm, banks it home. Ball went from one corner to the other corner. Nice movement. Larrier with a tough shot on the baseline for the answer. You see up by four. Adams kick, Larrier in rhythm, got it. And that's why Terrell has not been involved in the offense much in this game. Adams with four to shoot. Larrier, three, got it. Deflected, steal. Larrier, two on one with Whaley, who got the steal, and Larrier able to cash in. Larrier, wheels, 
pulls back and oh, fires it in. How about that answer? One of those things, they never fall three seconds unless you truly just can't out. Larrier finally on the board for Connecticut. The tell, Larrier, baseline, that is a big deal. And the head coaches on the basketball side in this conference. Larrier, the three, money. Oh, and this is what Kevin Ali wants, push the ball up the floor with his offense. Larrier, three, silky smooth. I can't wait to watch that game. There's nothing like that in college basketball. Uh, there's some that come maybe close, but really have to do with a couple things. Young backcourt, excuse me, front court, but also the zone. And a lot of times, when you're playing zone, guys are going to be taking threes or deeper. Adams, a little isolation basketball. Larrier, good, just in time. 4%. Larrier, open, and hits it for a two. He did. I mean, it's, it's, it's an adjustment. I've never had to wear that mask. Larrier finding his stroke with a three. Plenty of contact, plenty of ball, though. Carlton was not ready to finish. From the corner, the triple falls for Larrier. Anderson pokes it away. A re-energized Adams shuffles back for Larrier, who hits a three, and it's a one-point game. Kick out to the corner. Vital, no. Rebound pulled home by Carlton. Another crack at it, three-pointer Larrier, and that one's good. Terry Larrier ties it at three. Could stay here longer, because I've loved playing with him. Followed the high post to Larrier and gets the bounce, and it's a one-point game. Holly, Larrier, count it, tied at 20. Here's Anderson. Going into the corner for Larrier, and he hits a three. Ball knocked away, UConn gets it back. In the corner, Larrier, yes, for three, and we've seen that a couple times already today. Larrier, Ooh. that's strong. There's a nice block by Carlton on the defensive end for UConn. Larrier, yes, for the Huskies. I think you need a timeout. Fight for that rebound, everybody. Larrier in the corner to get the scoring started for UConn on his senior night, junior from the Bronx. Uh, Rose is a terrific player, but too many turnovers. Larrier in the paint, trailing off the good look from Jalen Adams. That's what they got to do. Larrier, last home game as a Husky, hits a triple, a big one. He had to sit for much of the first half with foul trouble. Adams pushes, creates for Larrier in transition. Another triple for the Huskies. Rose to the rim, blocked by DR. There's the D, leading to the offense. Vital to the rim, follow Larrier in transition. And it starts on the defensive end with the block. Now Houston does still technically have a chance at the two seed, but needs a confluence of four other finals plus a victory over UConn. It'll reopen as the Pertita Center next year. Texas Southern kind enough to lend its home. Kevin Ollie, more of a man-to-man -man guy, started using the zone more at the early stage of conference play, has confessed it's taken him some time to get used to it. And a high kiss for Larrier. Overs came after Robinson picked up that second foul. Well, we've talked about it. Uh, Robinson does such a good job of running. Opposite. Larrier on high. Switch. That was clearly a foul, but good call by Vital to get the timeout. So that means the Huskies only have one left, and Larrier has a lot of life left. 